Hi everyone, I hope you're all well. In this video I decided that I was going to do quite a chatty makeup tutorial for you based on makeup that I wear every day. As you can see, I literally have no makeup on at the moment and my skin looks awful, so let's get into the video. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna use a primer. The one that I'm currently using, which I am nearly out of, is the Urban Decay Pore Perfecting Complexion Primer Potion. So I'm just gonna pop this onto my skin first as a base. Okay, so all I do is literally just use my fingers and pop it all over my skin. This literally makes my skin feel so smooth and it's a really, really good base to put foundation over the top of. Okay, that is pretty much done. Okay, now my skin looks like this. Okay, so next I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Candle Glow Soft Illuminous Foundation. This one is in the shade Shell, um, and this is what it looks like. I'm not sure if it's going to focus, but yeah, that's what it looks like. And then I'm going to use my um, Beauty Blender to blend that in. I'm going to use, I haven't got, I actually, I don't know if any of you know this, but I wear glasses, so I'm probably going to need a mirror so I can see it properly because looking in the viewfinder is not helping me at all. <laughs> I would normally use a concealer and the normal um, concealer that I use underneath this is the Clarins Under Eye Concealer. This is really really good for blemishes and under the eyes um, but I have run out of that at the moment so we're just going to have to make do without concealer for now. Okay so as you can see I've now got my foundation on. Um, so now I'm going to use a powder. Okay, so the powder that I'm using is the MYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder Foundation. And I'm just going to literally just lightly go over my foundation with this powder. You don't need too much. Just light dusting. So that is that. So now I've got my powder on. So this is a Bobbi Brown um, bronzer. I've had this for literally ages. Like... Even though Bobbi Brown, like, their bronzers are quite expensive, they last such a long time. I can't even remember when I brought this, but I literally use it every day. So, this one is literally so old that you can barely read the back of it. Let me see if I can see. Shimmer Brick, Compact, Copper, Diamond. That's what it is in. I don't know whether you can still get it, but if you can, that's what it's called. So, I'm literally just going to go onto all of the areas where the sun hits on my face it looks like that so that's what it looks like i'm gonna go all on the areas here okay so now that is done then i'm gonna go over the top now this is actually um by mac this is the um, mac Mineralize Skin Finish Global Glow. Now this kind of looks like a highlighter, but on my skin, because I'm so pale, it looks more like a bronzer. So I go on like with this a little bit deeper, just so it gives me a little bit more of a um, bronze look. So I might just leave it like this sometimes if I'm in a rush. Um, but since I've got more time, I'll use this, which is the Smashbox um, Contour Palette. So I'm just gonna go in with the middle color here just to go over just to make sure it's a little bit more deeper okay so next up I'm going to use a highlighter I'm gonna highlight just under here and here um, just to keep it quite basic and to a minimum so what I'm using at the moment is this now this is the Urban Decay Naked Illuminated Trio now this is so good so you get three colors Oh, I've literally just put my nail in one. Right, so I've, you get three colours that look like this. Um, when I brought this from Urban Decay, they said that you can also use them as eyeshadows as well. Um, these two are kind of what I use mainly. I don't tend to use this one. Um, I haven't, don't think I've used it yet. But yeah, so I'm just going to use the middle one just to go just underneath this bit here and this bit here. Brush that I'm using is by Real Techniques. I'm not too sure which one it is. 
I'm just gonna literally go underneath this bit here. Okay, so I've just lightly highlighted my cheekbones, haven't gone in too much. Then I'm gonna use the darker colour here just to do like a slight little like contour just around my cheekbones. So I'm gonna do that now. Okay, so now I'm gonna go a little bit darker with the contour on my cheeks. So this time I'm gonna use this Smashbox um, palette again, but I'm going to use this one, which is the contour one. Again, I'm gonna use this brush so I can get it right, so. And then I'm gonna go in with this brush here. Now this one is a Real Techniques one. Um, it's number 301 and it's so good. I've used it so much, but it's a really, really good brush. I definitely recommend getting this one if you want a really stiff, contour brush for the cheeks okay so next up is eyes so i'm going to use first of all um the urban decay eyeshadow primer potion in original and i'm just literally going to put this on the base of my eyes this is really good if you're putting on eyeshadow um and even up their eyeliner to be honest and it keeps it there all day so this is a must have so that's all blended in now sometimes not every day like I don't tend to wear um, eyeshadow but sometimes um, especially on a weekend when I've got more time I will definitely use eyeshadow so I'm going to use the Naked Basics palette by Urban Decay and then I'm gonna use this one here just to do the base of the eye so that one okay so the base colour is now in there it's pretty much just like a natural natural eye color so that's that next i'm going to go in with this one here which is called naked 2 and i'm going to use the smaller end of the brush this time for that one just done it literally just in the crease of my eye so far here Okay, so I've gone in the creases of my eye. I'm just gonna blend that in. Okay, so that's done. So I've done that in both of the creases of my eyes, so you can see that. Now I'm gonna use Faint, which is slightly darker, and I'm just gonna go in even more, just to give my eye a little bit more depth. I'm just using this in the very inside crease of my eye so then I can blend it outwards a little bit more so you can see it's getting a little bit more divine defined now than before. I'm just going to use the bigger side of the brush again and just gently blend that out. As it's a day look I'm going to keep it quite basic so Obviously with a smokier eye, you would just get darker and darker. But just for the day look for now, I'll leave it like that. I've got really, really small eyes, so it's quite tricky. This is an eyeshadow that I brought individually from Omen Decay, and I normally use it in the evenings, but I thought I would show you in this one, just so I could do like the inside of my crease, because it's such a pretty colour. Um, this one is called Mau Wowie. I don't know if I've pronounced that right, but that's what it's called. And I'm just gonna go just in the inside, just to give it that little bit of sparkle. This color is literally stunning. Like it is so nice. So that is my eye makeup or my eyeshadow done. Next, I'm gonna use the eyeliner 
Okay, so the eyeliner that I'm going to be using is the Urban Decay Perversion Waterproof Fine Point Eye Pen. They used to do um, another 24-7 eyeliner, but they discontinued it and I was so gutted, like literally, it was the best thing, like I couldn't, I didn't think I'd find any other um, eyeliner that would be just as good. This one is their new one, I like it but I still think I prefer the old one, just because with the old one, um, because it was like, you twisted it off and you'd you'd have the liquid like in a little pot and then you'd just paint, basically like paint it on. It used to um, like never dry out, whereas I find the pens and the liquid ones especially, they tend to dry out quite a lot. I'll show you what it looks like now. Okay, so that's one of them done. Let's do the other one. Okay, so as you can see, I've now done my eyeliner. Um, now I'm gonna do the underneath part of my eyes and I'm gonna use the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in black. So let's do this. Try and do it in the viewfinder so you can see it. Hey. The other eye looks like that. Then I'm gonna finish off with my mascara. And I don't know if you've noticed, but this wasn't intentional, but I tend to be, I am using quite a lot of Urban Decay makeup, but that's just cause I really like the stuff. But yeah, so this is the Urban Decay version. Um, bigger, blacker, badder mascara. So let's do this. So I'm going to do the tops of my eyes, making sure I've got every single lash possible and then I'm going to repeat on the other side. Okay, so that is the tops of my eyelashes done and then I'm going to do my bottom ones as well. I'm sorry if I'm pulling like really weird faces as I'm doing this. Okay, so there's my eyes they're now done okay so on to brows and i'm going to be using the smashbox brow tech matte pencil in top i used to use a dior one um but i found this one my friend actually got it for me um for christmas i believe is it christmas melissa you'll know you're probably watching this so if you know let me know in the comments what it was um but yeah so ever since she brought me this i've been using this and it's a cheaper alternative but it just lasts just as long so let's do brows okay so first of all I'm going to use the brush end I'm just gonna brush my eyebrow into shape my eyebrows do need plucking I normally do them myself but I should probably get them done professionally because I probably don't do it right <laughs> But yeah, so now we're going to use this. So it just comes like this. It's literally a twisty cap, so you twist it up. So I'm just going to draw downwards and then gently brush into the hairs to give it a bit more definition. So it looks like that. <laughs> it's quite bold, I guess compared to my other brow. So let's quickly do the other side. Okay, so that's both of them done now. Okay, so that's that done. Let's move on to lips. Okay, so on to lips and I'm gonna use the MAC Nice and Spicy Pro Longwear Lip Pencil. I'm gonna line my eyes all around, and my eyes, my lips all around it's been a long day. My lips are all along the top of my um, lip to shape the lip. And then I also do in the middle. I don't know whether anyone else does this, but I always lip um, put the lip pencil in the middle to give it that little bit more definition and it keeps the lipstick on a lot longer. So let's do that now. Okay, so I'm gonna go along this bit here, right at the bottom to shape that lip. Okay, so that is the lip liner now done. So then I'm gonna go in with my lipstick. I'm now going to use the um, Charlotte Tilbury Bitch Perfect lipstick, which is this one here. 
This one is a really nice creamy nude colour. It just, oh, it's just my favourite lipstick. I love nude lipsticks and this colour is just the best one. So let's do that on top. Okay, so that's the lipstick done. And then to finish it off, this is something that I couldn't be without. And this is the Lip Maximizer um, by Dior. I put this on top of every single lipstick I have and it gives it makes your lips really tingle and it plumps them up a little bit and gives them a, a little bit of a fuller look. Okay, so you've got your makeup look. Everything is now done. Now let's set it into place. I'm using the Urban Decay All Night Out Makeup Setting Spray. I love this. Literally freshens your face up and it keeps your makeup on literally the whole day. So let's do that now. And there we go, the makeup is all done. So yeah, this is my finished everyday makeup look. There's my eyes and also my lips as well. But yeah, if you do wanna see more makeup tutorials from me, then please do let me know in the comments below. I will link all available um, products that I used in this tutorial in the description. If you did like this video, then please do give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.